Hey everyone, it's Peter here. In today's video we're going to take a look at the publishing options Smart Slider offers. You will see how to publish a slider using short codes, Gothenburg and other page builders, and also PHP codes. Let's get to it. On the general tab of the slider settings page, you can find the short code of the slider. You should copy this short code. You can insert a shortcode into the text of any page or post. Update the page and take a look at it. The slider will appear on the front end of the website. To publish a slider with Gothenburg, add the block to your page and pick Smart Slider 3. Select the slider you want to show and press Insert. Update the page and that's it. The slider is published now. Smart Slider supports the most popular page builders like Divi, Elementor, Beaver Builder and much more. The publishing process is similar in all of them, so this tutorial can help even if you use a different page builder. In this video I'm using Elementor. Let's get started. In Page Builders, you can create sections or blocks to have elements within these places. Once you've got where you would like to publish a slider, go to the list of available elements. Search for Smart Slider and you will most likely find an element for it. If you don't, use a shortcode, code, or text element and just write the shortcode of the slider in it. Insert Smart Slider into your page, which will automatically pop up the slider selector. Select your slider and press Insert. Page Builder sections often have default unwanted spaces. If you see this too, try to find padding, maybe margin values to change them to 0 pixel. Save the page and your slider will get published. To publish your slider with PHP, you need to have a little experience with HTML and PHP programming. You can add your slider to any area in your theme by placing the code to the right place. This is everything you need to know about publishing. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. I'll catch you in the next one.